Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for the invite to come here. I'm very honoured to be on the platform with Mary and Bernadette. Okay, I've been a Republican Socialist for around about 35 years in England, which is a very isolated thing to be. <laughs> um, you see the t-shirt here, it says the of Scotland is possible, and I intend to wear that the t-shirt next Saturday at the Left Unity Conference in London. But we're so what it says is, another England is possible. That's the message that I want to have a speak about. And there's something that I wouldn't like to know. I've come here in solidarity with your struggle for democracy. And I want to take a message back to England. We've put out a leaflet here, and I will take this as a letter to the people in England to say, pull your finger out and let's get a move on. And if you've seen this leaflet and can sign it on the back, I will take these letters back to me to England and I will speak at the conference, because I will be up at the conference to speak on the Republican Socialist platform that we put up at the Left Unity conference. Now I came to, it, I came to Scotland first, I think it was 1978. And I met Alan Armstrong was sitting down there. And I realised something significant was going on. Of course, it was a devolution referendum. That's why I came. And that referendum, of course, was lost. And we need to remember that when you're being threatened with all the terrible things that are going to happen, they won't let you use the pound, you won't have any doctors, the Bank of England will be beastly to you, etc., etc. Remember that in 1979, when the no vote happened, or when it didn't win, we got Thatcher. I believe that if you get a no vote next year, if something, they're going to come for their pound of flesh. They won't just leave you in peace. There will be a bad, much worse situation. I came again in 1997. I was just trying to work out the date for this. And I was with Mary. We were leafleting about the Scottish uh, referendum for the Scottish Parliament. We were leafleting here in Glasgow. So I suppose the fact that I'm here again in 2013 means there must be another referendum, I think. That's, <laughs> when, I that, that's, when, I see, that's when I seem to turn up. Um, in 1978, we called it the National Party. I could have called it the National Question. In 1997, I think I called it the Scottish Question. And now I've started to think that actually it's the English question that we need to think a little bit about. Um, what are we going to do about England, is the thing I want to propose. I think we, because it's not just too much about your problem. I don't know if somebody might say that. No, it's in a way it's all our problem, because there are 57 million people living in England. There are 18 to 20 million workers in England. There are 4 million people in England living on the minimum wage. It's a very, very important constituency for any progressive movement in Scotland. The ruling class know this, and they're going to fight not only in Scotland for their aim, but they will be carrying out their aim to win people's support in England for this. Because the situation in England is quite fraught with danger for them. In England, millions of people are actually not happy, alienated, pissed off with what's happening uh, with the main parties. Now, there are two expressions of this. One's already been mentioned. One, of course, is Little England idea. It's all down to foreigners, Europe, immigrants, poor people who are foreigners in their own country, and, of course, the rebellious Scots as well are all part of that. And we know, where that's, we know what the expression of that is. The expression of that, of course, is UKIP and Nigel Farage, I think, came to give you a visit, not very long, came to visit you not very long ago. I think you sent him back down the road. <laughs> down there, can't we send it back to you? <laughs> but there's also an alternative to that. There is the idea of a democratic England. There is the idea that in England people are thinking to themselves, no, no, uh, fr no free schools, um, no privatisation of the NHS, no student fees, no uh, care for the elderly. Perhaps we should have some of that in England. Perhaps we should have a parliament in England. There are a lot of people starting to think like that, thinking, hang on, why can't we have some of that? Then you've also got the, uh, the young people in England that were rioting in 2011. Now, there were English riots as well in England. And then, of course, you had the Occupy movement in 2011, where people occupied St Paul's, I'm sure you remember this, a 
And they were protesting about the power of the city and the need for real democracy. And then, of course, more recently, the latest thing, of course, was Russell Brand. Okay. Russell Brand. Well, what did Russell Brand say? Okay, He said, when people talk about politics within the existing Westminster framework, I feel a dull thud in my stomach and my eyes involuntarily glaze over. He went on to say, like most people, I'm utterly disenchanted with politics. Like most people, I regard politicians as frauds and liars, and the current political system as nothing more than a bureaucratic means for furthering the augmentation and advantages of the economic elites. And that was well that, that message, of course, was well received by many, many people who were tweeting and uh, responding to him. He said, I don't vote because it seems to me like a tacit act of compliance. Well, I think we want, I don't really agree with, I understand what he's saying, don't vote. That's not really the answer, is it? I think there's a different answer. A, an answer for a different kind of political system, for a republican system, is what, really what we, is the direction that we need to go in. Now, let me just then turn to talk about the left in England, my, my last sort of point, really. Uh, the latest initiative in England uh, is Left Unity Conference that's going to be held next Saturday. And there are three platforms on there being argued about. So it tells you the different sort of ways that people might be thinking of going. One of them, the main and dominant platform, is called the Left Party Platform. And that's really arguing for a return to 1945 for a sort of British welfare state. Then there's another second platform that calls itself the Socialist Platform that I really think it's arguing for something like a Communist Party of Great Britain. And then the platform that I'm associated with is the Republican Socialist Platform. <coughs> So we've got, I think, 1945, 1917, I think we're 1649. Because remember that in 1649, okay, England became a commonwealth. And in March 1649, the House of Commons just said, right, that's it, no House of Lords, that was abolished. No monarchy, that was abolished. It didn't take them, you know, a few hours to do Fantastic. And the levellers were there, and the diggers were there, arguing for democracy and arguing for a social... A, a different social order around a, a land redistribution. But there's two key points to me made about this thing which I think are relevant. First of all, in 1638, the whole thing started off with a rebellion in Scotland by the Covenanters. And in 1644, it master, at the Battle of Marston Moor, an army of Scottish Covenanters and Cromwell's Ironsides decisively beat the Royalist army. So the two points are there, rebellion in Scotland and the united front between Scotland and England, that's the way we might be able to win and go forward. And if you think that's just all the 17th century, remember the coal tax. The revolt on the coal tax began in Scotland. And where did we finish it off? We did actually finish it off in Trafalgar Square. So it became a united front fighting the coal tax across the, across the world. So, uh, let's return to the present. And what will people in England see when they look next year uh, at the referendum. They might simply see it as a fight between, a two-cornered fight between unionists and nationalists. I hope that when they look at Scotland they'll see something else. I hope they'll see it as a three-cornered fight between unionists, nationalists and Republican internationalists. Those people who are promoting the idea of a Scottish social republic and linking in with, uh, with uh, people in England who want to achieve the same sort of aim. Now, that's what we're going to be promoting at the conference um, in England uh, uh, next week, um, next Saturday. I haven't mentioned Ireland, but the argument I'm making here could just as well apply to Ireland and to make that very important link with Ireland. My last point here is with the leaflet. It just says on the back of the leaflet, you, uh, asking anybody, you can sign the petition of the, socialist, of the Republican Socialist Platform and we will take a message of the Scottish Social Republic to Left Unity Conference. And second, we will work to ensure that during the referendum campaign in 2014, we have a speaking tour in England so that the message of Scottish Republicanism and Scottish internationalism can be taken to the working class movement in England. We need, you need to fight for your republic. We want to fight for the Commonwealth of England and we should link together in that common fight. Thank you very much.